Hello, uh, my name is Stuart Chignall, and if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. Um, if you are a regular subscriber, then um, yeah, welcome back. Um, especially if you're one of the people who have subscribed to the channel because of the bee videos that I do. And it occurred to me this morning that it's been a while since I've done one, so this is for you. Um, now, about a week ago now, I was contacted by some people uh, who have a beehive um, in a house, well not in a house, at their house, and they wanted it dealt with and they didn't want to have it just poisoned. Uh, now they originally said that you know I'll need a chainsaw to cut into the tree and so on, but as soon as I got there I saw that that just was not an option. Um, so in order to give these bees a new home, to prevent them just being killed, I've got to use a diff technique which is a trap out. And one of the things I really want to do for this trap out is I want to be able to see the progress of the bees being forced to move out of the tree and into the new hive without opening up the new hive and sort of just potentially scaring them off. So to do that, I need windows on the hive box. Uh, now I don't think I've done any videos on any of the windows that I've done for any of my hives. I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't I've sort of been on my to-do list for a while. Uh, now because I was in a hurry, need to get this done, need to get the trap set up like this afternoon, I started using, uh, you know, well, basically machine tools. But I've made a dog's breakfast at the first start of the cut. And then I remembered, oh, I've got those, those rat tail, those Japanese rat tail saws that I've got to be putting up on eBay sometime. I'll pull one out, I'll give it a go and um, see, if they, see if they work. And if they do, maybe one of you guys might be interested in buying one as well. So, um, let's give this a run. Basically, I've just marked out a square that is smaller than the piece of glass that I've got. Uh, and you can see the muck I've made. I've tended to stay away from um, using fret saws, scroll saws for this sort of job because I don't like the fact that you've got to drill a hole and then you can always see that drilled hole. What I prefer to use is one of these. Uh, this is a Japanese saw. Um, oh, if I can get this right. Ab, 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 Abeki? Ab, Abazeki? I oh, forget. Anyway, basically it's a, it's, got, it's a panel saw. It's for cutting into panels without the need for having to drill a hole to get the corks cut started. The curved blade allows you to sort of, you basically just drop, to drop in. So you can saw along the cut and then gradually go and increase and increase until you get all the way through. Now, I haven't done that and I'm not going to do that with these because you need a certain length in order to do that. And there's not enough length with these windows for these smaller pieces of glass to do it. It's just not, there's not enough room to do it. Uh, and that's why I'm going to be using one of these beauties. Um, uh, these are Japanese compass saw. Um, this, the, these ones in particular, these are blacksmith made. These are not your, um, your disposable Japanese blades. Um, it's got quite a thick spine, which does mean for this sort of work, it's actually going to leave quite a big gap, but well, it needs must. Um, you do need to start it with a hole, a penetrating hole. Um, yeah, um, but look, like, like I've never used one of these before. Um, I've got four other blades. The aim, I sort of got them to try and just to sell, and if they sell well, then I can get some more in. Um, if they don't, well, I've got a life supply, because um, you can resharpen these. First thing's fitting the handle. Now, because these are a blacksmith saw, um, blacksmith made saw, they've just got the straight pointy tang. So you just get the, the old the older traditional style of um, handle and get it started and then with a hammer just gently tap the end. There we go. I'm using the very tip of the blade here to just try and get around. And that, I'm not making that turn. Oh, 
I'll have to do a video of when I'm using the um as a be as a Becky saws. Like that is huge, that kerf. Um but yeah, they, they give a much, much finer kerf. And of course once you get started, then you can take over with a a Kataba saw or a Ryoba saw. But um that's um that's a bit of a mess. With this video, I'm going to drill a hole here, and here, and there. Uh, and then I'll have to replace this piece um, with another piece of wood, because there's no way I can use that to cover up the window. Now, of course, if I'd done this window before I put the box together, it would have been very simple. I could have done straight cuts. But um, I did so. project I've got is like this. I must have knocked the camera or something and yeah, you could, it's not very good. <laughs> can't exactly see what I'm doing. Um, and I can't show you pictures of the finished hive because I've actually already installed it. It's actually, you know, out there and I've got to go check on it the next day or two to see how it's going. And that's going to be in a video coming up very soon. Um, the filming's done, I've just got to, you know, um, put the video together. But this was one I did a while ago and it was from this one that I learnt that you have to install two windows, not just one. It's a very simple process, you just chisel a rebate around the hole that's large enough to take the glass, slightly larger than the glass, and then with a bit of glue um, in there to hold the glass in place. But as you can see with this window, you can't see anything, and that's because there's no light getting in. That's why you need two windows. One for you actually to see, and the other to let the light in so that you've got something to see. The, I'm, I'm going to be doing the video on the trap. Uh, so if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell, bell icon so that you get notified that it comes out. If you're relying on social media to let you know, well, there's a good chance you'll miss it. Uh, it's not, um, yeah, the algorithms aren't very good at picking what you want to see. They're much better at picking what advertisers want you to see. And speaking and speaking of advertisers, if anyone is interested in any of the tools that you see me using, uh, in particular in this video, those compass saws, um, then there's follow the link below to my eBay store, or contact me directly. You know, there's a bunch of stuff, other stuff I've got as well. Uh, now they're very good saws, very sharp. They cut well. Um, it's the kind of saw I think that I would like in my toolbox. Yeah, you know, maybe once every three or six months, maybe. Um, so not a <laughs> not a high priority tool purchase, I, um, is the way I put it. But for the person who needs one, um, indispensable. Um, so yeah, and they're very good quality saws, just not one I would use very often. So if you want one, um, I have got three, and I think the one, the single blade that I've got, will last me a lifetime. Let alone those other three. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.